You asked for it, I delivered. I'm like Santa Claus, but for controller settings, and as promised, I will show you the best exponential settings for Chapter 5 Season 2. And as proof these settings are cracked like black pepper, here is a filthy streak I went on in Murto's Turtle Fights. These sweaty PC players did not know what hit them. And if you want to aim like mine, just watch this video to the end, share it with your nan, and copy these settings. The best thing I can do is actually show you my settings and talk through them, so here we go. Under graphics settings, you can leave these alone, same with audio settings, but under game settings, there are a couple things you want to change. If you go down to hurdle activation, you want to change that from hold jump to hold forward. And the reason is by running at any kind of open window or even a hole in edit in a build, you actually will jump through them straight away and catch your opponents off guard. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Just look how quick and easy that is. Honestly, it makes all the difference. So the next thing you want to do under this setting is disable pre-edits. This is because they always mess me up on controller. You want to make sure you've got turbo building on and auto confirm edits to both. Now you can have this off, but if you're a controller like me, obviously it makes it a lot quicker and easier. So again, game UI, you can leave that alone. Touch and motion, no. Mouse and keyboard, obviously not. The controller settings, this is where it gets really interesting. So you need to make sure you have Builder Pro on. That is the most important thing. And the next thing you want to do then is I do play on quick weapons, but if you don't, just keep that disabled custom only. Now sensitivity, this is the most important part. So your build and edit mode sensitivity, I play in 1.8 because I think it's the most useful and it makes it feel more like linear, even though you're editing with exponential. Then you want to turn on advanced settings and under your look sensitivity, you want 44 vertical and horizontal. Uh, if you like your vertical slightly higher, that's absolutely fine. This is just a guideline, so put, these, put them as these settings, play a couple games, and if it feels too slow, raise it. If it feels too fast, lower it, just by a couple of percent at a time. You want to turn off all boosts of any sort, because these make your settings feel inconsistent. Then under your aim down sight settings, you want 14% vertical and horizontal. Again, just a guideline. If you feel like it's too fast, lower it by a couple percent. If you feel like it's too slow, raise it by a couple percent, play a couple games to get used to it and see how you go. Again, you want all the boosts off because that just makes it feel inconsistent. No look dampening time. And then of course you want exponential uh, look input curve, not linear. Now. For binds, this is completely dependent on your controller. If you want me to make a video on my binds, because I play with the DualSense Edge controller, so I've got two paddles at the back. If you don't have any paddles and you don't want to play Claw, I also have some binds for those. So let me know in the comments if you want these.